Hey guys, this is Leo with Key Print Co. We just released our brand new face mask platen kit and we're at All American Print Supply to show you guys how it works on the Epson 2100. Check it out. First thing you want to do is get your setup station and clamp it down to a table. To load the face mask, get your face mask platen and put it on the setup station. Then grab your face mask and you want to tuck the elastic part under the top plate. So do that with the top first. Once that's under the top plate, you want to grab the tucker that comes with your kit, grab a little bit of slack, and tuck it under the top plate as well. Once you do that, you're ready to print. You can also remove the tucker by swinging it off to the right. If your face mask has an elastic border, there's another way to load it without the tucker. Get your face mask, and what you want to do is put these elastic borders under this top plate here. So we're going to start off with the bottom, slide that under the top plate, and then just loop it around and do the exact same thing with the top. You want to tuck it under the top plate, and you're good to go. To get your machine ready, all you have to do is remove the platen, remove the metal box, and then put the master adapter in place where the metal box was. Just make sure that the orientation is correct, and you're good to go. Okay, now that we're inside Garment Creator, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your print settings match the type of face mask that you're going to print. We're going to leave it on light colored t-shirt because we're doing a white face mask. Then you want to head over to the layout settings and you want to change this part right here. It's called the platen. So you're going to take it from the medium platen all the way to the extra small platen because that's the 7x8 that we're going to be using. The cool thing about our platens is that they have an exact one-to-one -one ratio with the software, which means that if you want to put a design two inches up from the center and then two inches to the left, that's exactly where it's going to land on our platen. So in this case, for the face masks, you have a printable surface area of three inches tall by four inches wide. That's about how big your artwork could be so that you can print it on the full print surface area that's allotted to you. So where is that print surface area here in the software? It's going to be one, two, three inches up from the bottom, and it's going to be four from the center. So one, two, three, all of this right here is your printable surface area. So now that you know where it's going to land on the software, you can position your artwork accordingly. So for us, we're just going to keep it in the center. We're going to do one, two, three inches from the bottom, and we're going to even put it a little bit higher than that. And then it's going to extend to the full height. So it's one, two, three inches. For all of our platens, you always want to measure from the bottom. It's the best way to make sure that your aim is as accurate as possible. Once your artwork is exactly where you want it to be, you can hit print and you're done. Once you've already done your height test, just hit print and you're ready to rock. Once your face mask is finished printing, bring it back to the setup station and offload the mask.